Hi everyone, Vanya here, and today I will explain how to change the display language in the warehouse app. So there is a couple things that you should know. First of all, the language is connected to the worker that is logging in. So I have a, set up a couple examples here. I have worker 24, uh, who is connected to Julia van der Berg, um, and the Dynamics 365 SCM user linked to this person has English as their language. Then I have another worker, Vanya, who is linked to Alicia as the HCM worker, and Alicia's Dynamics user has Russian as the user language. So if Vanya logs into the app, the language will be Russian. If user 24 logs into the app, the language will be English. Now, if the HCM worker is not linked to a Dynamics 365 user, then what will be used is the Azure Active Directory application linked user. So this user is um, the one defining the roles that apply when this application connects to Dynamics 365. In this case, you can see it is Ellen, and Ellen has Danish configured as the user language. And the language is configured, like if I take, for example, Alicia, we can see it is configured in the user options under preferences, like normal over here. Now, the default sign-in experience will also use the Azure Active Directory user, which is Ellen in our case. Uh, however, the sign-in experience will remember the last language used. So um, if I have connected previously with user 24, you can see my uh, sign-in language is still in English. Uh, I'll repeat this kind of as I demo it as well. Uh, note that menu items and menus are actual data that the warehouse manager or some partner or whoever puts into the system. So they're not currently translated, uh, but a workaround that you can use is to create uh, copies of the necessary menu items that are then defined in the respective language. So you can see here, I have defined four menu items in Russian for Alicia. Uh, what I have also done is uh, that I have added them into a menu, uh, also in Russian, and then I have put this on the worker as their default menu. So whenever Alicia or specifically Vanya as the worker ID connect to the app, they will see the Russian menu. Now, let's try to do this, right? If I log in under the user 24, you can see the menu uh, and everything is in English. If I go into a particular flow, uh, all the fields and everything is still in English. Now, if I log off and sign in under Vanya, you can see that the menu is in Russian, uh, the parameters and everything is in Russian, and then the flows themselves, everything is also in Russian. Now. The step uh, title and instructions are currently not translated, even though in the code they are defined as labels. So this is something that uh, should be fixed with Dynamics version 10.0.20. There's no way right now to overwrite this text, so uh, apart from just actually changing the, the label. But all the other fields are obviously uh, in the language of choice. Now, there's one thing that I need to note, and that is if you are trying to change the language for Alicia, while you already have a work user session, you need to actually log out so that the session is destroyed. If you just use the sign out button, which is, I know, a bit confusing, you can see here it's the log off button, but then inside the actual menus, it's a sign out button. So the log off button is something that's actually defined in the mobile device menu items. 
while the sign out is something that is added automatically in the app. Um, and it might be translated to the same word in different languages. So just pay attention to this. And note that if I completely disconnect, uh, the default language will be based on uh, Allen, which is Danish in this case, a part for